Welcome to the eight pillars of feminine sovereignty. Pillar number one, creating with the flow of life. Having faith in one's primary and indivisible relationship with the generative force of the universe and intentionally acting in concert with it. Mm. I was not a very spiritual person when I was younger. I was more dedicated to examining the power dynamics of social relations, the legal system, economics, big structures. And I was more activist and more interested in changing the existing system to be more inclusive, more equitable, and to help level the playing field as the saying goes. That was when I was an academic and sought to create new perspectives that honored those who'd been marginalized. And I still hold the values of inclusion and equitability and justice, but my perspective has changed. I've had the great good fortune to be influenced and evolved by my exposure to both ancient yogic philosophy and its understanding of wholeness and our interrelatedness within what they call the Baranya Garbha, the great cosmic womb, and also what I've learned from and have grown from uh, indigenous people of North America in particular uh, about their approach to life, about each other and about the living world about their philosophy and their understanding that we are all relations. We are all siblings, if you will, in this great, beautiful world. And this has changed me dramatically to the point where now my understanding is, is that our spiritual connection is absolutely vital for our sovereignty, for one thing, but also for our health, our well-being, the, our emotional state, um, our ability to understand and work with our energy, our relationships, both with our own selves, with each other, and with our living world. And so that is why pillar number one is co-creating with the flow of life. <laughs>